Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. 
you are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty, because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Please all stand. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at a table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, Everything will be clean for you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. There is this show, a sitcom, American sitcom, called Big Bang Theory. At ang isa, ang major character doon, si Sheldon, ay very famous siya sa kanyang pagiging obsessive compulsive. May mga behavior siya na obsessive compulsive. No? Kailangan malinis lahat. No? Kailangan um, parati siyang may purel, no? yung panghugas ng kamay. No? Dahil sabi niya, siya ay self-confessed na germophobe. Ano yung germophobe? Takot sa germs, no? While growing up, naturuan din ako ng aking nanay, kailangan maghugas, no? Na after playing outside, no? Kahit minsan ay eh, marami ng libag, no? Dito, sa liig, no? 
kung saan saan ang libag. No? We were always asked to brush our teeth first and also wash our feet bago mag-tuck in sa bed. No? Tama nga naman, no? Lalong-lalo na kapag naglaro sa labas, no? kapag hindi nakapag putol ng koko, no? since bata, maraming libag dito sa koko, bago kumain, kailangan maghugas ng kamay. No? Ano pa't pumutok ang COVID nung 2020? And we realize really the need to be somehow very clean. No? Kaya siguro kayong lahat dito may alkohol ano? Parating may alkohol sa bulsa. No? Karating chichich. No? Para hindi magkasakit. No? Even before the time of Jesus, no? it was legislated in the Levitical law na kailangan maghugas ng kamay. We heard in the gospel, no? Jesus was invited by a Pharisee to dine in his home. No? However, the Pharisee was somewhat scandalized, hindi nagugas ng kamay si Jesus. No? Dahil prescribed ng Mosaic Law, na bago kumain, kailangan maghugas ng kamay. And we see the practicality of it. Tama? No? Kasi kahit tayo no, na nandidiso sa kabilang ibayo ng mundo, ina na palaging maghugas ng kamay. Pero it appears that Jesus was somewhat kinukontra ang mga pariseyo. Kayo, madalas kayong palaging ritual-ritual na lang. You want the outside to be cleansed, but inside, you don't mind. Ang reputasyon ho kasi ng pareseyo, they would like always to draw attention to themselves. No? Papanong attention? Gusto nila nung mamahahabang damit. No? Gusto nilang binabaw sila kapag sila ay dumadaan. No? May pagka KSP. Gusto nila parating pa-press release. Yung pang-outside lang, yung kanilang pinapahalagahan. But you see, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is somewhat reminding us, iba ang paglilinis sa nagmamalinis. Iba ang paglilinis sa nagmamalinis. At alam naman natin, na marami sa atin ang prone saan? Pagpapapress release lang. We are so much concerned with our reputation no? that we forgot already who are we as our own personal character. Anong pinagkaiba ng dalawang ito? Reputation is others people's opinion about you. No? At yun ang mas pinapahalagahan natin, di ba? Ano ang sasabihin ng iba? Ano na lang sasabihin ng kapitbahay? Kesa makilala ang sarili nating sarili. That's why, no? Maraming taong nade-depress, maraming taong nagkakaroon ng anxiety, no? Nagkakaroon ng suicidal thoughts because of social media dahil lahat ay panlabas. Lahat sa tingin nila clean, no? Slate. Pero hindi. Ang sabi ni Jesus ngayon, mas importante ang nasa loob. Pero why is it, no? Kilala natin ang ating sarili, hopefully, pero kapag nagbigay ng opinion ng ibang tao sa atin, we crumple, no? Kapag dilibak tayo, nagagalit agad tayo. Kapag siniraan tayo, nagagalit agad tayo. 
hindi, na, hindi natin aware, hindi tayo aware na kapag naglilibang ang ibang tao, kapag sinisiraan tayo, it is what? A reflection of their own insecurities. Pero bakit tayo nagagalit? Baka hindi rin kasi natin kilala ang ating sarili. That's why Jesus is inviting us, know yourself more. Your character is more important than your reputation. Do not be a Pharisee. Nagmamalinis. Pero sa loob, madumi. Kaya sa misang ito, mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, we ask Jesus to give us courage and help us accompany ourselves. Look in deeply. Aktin na ng kaloob-looban natin. Matanggap kung sino at ano tayo. At yun ang ating iaalay sa Diyos. Kailangan natin ng authentic, genuine, legit na sarili. Yun ang mas gusto ni Jesus. Okay, maglinis ng kamay, pero kilalanin ang kalooban. Amen. Please all stand. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father and present our needs before Him. In every prayer, we all say, Lord, give us Your Spirit. Lord, give us Your Spirit. That the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us your, your spirit. spirit. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give, give us your spirit. spirit. That the media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us your spirit. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us your spirit. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give us your spirit. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. God, our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth. Through so Jesus, who is our way, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, accept the prayers of your faithful 
with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although we have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord, and so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, shall, be healed. shall be Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, 
so you may make us sharers of His divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you.